everybody welcome back once again my name is Maria thank you for joining me today um, I do book subscription unboxings here uh, I like to just kind of get into all the products and how well everything works and tastes and feels and how good the book reads and so I try to give you like a, a more in-depth experience of the boxes hopefully I'm doing a good job of it um, if not leave me a comment Give me some suggestions what you would like to see more of or less of etc today i have a kind of a special edition box um let me show you it's once upon a book club i know i've done it my very first video was a once upon a book club however they do special edition boxes and i started subscribing to them in january and for the month of February, they also had their February box, like normal, but they had like a special edition Valentine's Day box. It ended up coming like in March, but it was their uh, Valentine's Day edition. And shipping had been delayed at that time anyway, so I know I got my January box in February, my February box was late, all this stuff. So this was actually the second box I received from them and it is the special edition Valentine's edition box that I got. So I wanted to share that with you. It's not included in your monthly. It's something that you add on to, um, you opt for. Uh, so I wanted to try it out and so I bought it and voila, it was great. So the book that was included is The X Talk by Rachel Solomon. It is a cutesy little kind of girly flick book. Would it be called a flick if it's a book and not a movie? Well, you know what I mean. It's like a chick flick, but in a book. Um, it's really cute. So this, uh, this girl, Shay, she works in a radio station in Seattle. And you know, it's just kind of the typical, um, She's independent, she's strong, she doesn't have a love life, she sees her best friend moving on in her love life, even her mother because her father passed away and her mother was dating someone and she, her mom's like moving on in her love, love life and Shay just kind of was just Shay. And not that she wasn't content, but you know, eh, she, she was alone and she noticed this guy who was working at the same um, news uh, radio studio, um, Dominic, younger than her, um, also good, good looking, D didn't get along with each other very well. Um, she was part of a show, a, a radio show, which was canceled, and I guess they were making a lot of cuts in this radio um, station and she managed to get her own show called The X Talk because the way Dominic and Shay would bicker kind of gave ideas like, you guys bicker like your exes. And so they made up like they were exes and they're giving advice, relationship advice that could have saved their relationship, which wasn't real because they really weren't in a relationship, but that was the the rue that they told the public. And so it's nice. It The only people in on the lie was like the, the head guy in the radio station and Dominic and Shay. And so her friends, her mother, all that stuff, they're like, how come we didn't know about Dominic? She's like, oh, I just, you know, I just, it ran its course and I didn't feel like it was anything to talk about. And so she kind of lied to her family, to her friends, to her coworkers. And obviously these two that butted heads, what do you think happened? Maybe they fell in love at the end? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, um, here are the um, gifts. I found that these gifts were a lot nicer packaged than that first box that I received. So look at that, how pretty like gift wrapped it is. And this one has this beautiful box. Um, here's another, which is a box that opens up like with a lid. And then this one, finally. 
So it also has four gifts. I know that the box that I had prior also had four gifts. Um, like they always do, you get a signature from the author that I, I have not put into my book yet, but now that I've showed you, I will. And you get your quote card. So this quote card says, but maybe that's what we all are halfway broken people, searching for things that will smooth our jagged edges. I'm like that's cute. Um, oh, and actually, at the in the back, I didn't even notice this before. Is a uh, little uh, shout out from Rachel Lynn Solomon, who is the author. She's just saying how thrilled she is that she's part of the the. Oh, they called it the steamy romance box, not the Valentine's box, but the steamy romance box. So apparently, her first career was public radio. So. I guess uh, she wrote about something that she knows a bit about. So that's interesting. All right, so gift number one comes in page 84. So Shay and um, Dominic are out. I believe it was a bar that they were out in. It might be a restaurant, but I think they went out drinking from what I remember. Because again, I read this a while ago. And... Uh, in this part of the book, he taps the cold rim of the glass against her cheek. And so, open your gift. And here we have a glass. It says, plot twist. Kindly go away, I'm reading. It might be hard to read. It'd be hard for you to see that, see? That's cute. And it came with this little paper in here. And I, yep, yeah, it's exactly what it says in that part of the story where you open it. Then he try, then he taps the cold rim of the glass against my cheek gently, gently. So it's cute. It's nice. It's nothing like, wow, that's a beautiful glass. It's, but it's cool. I like that it says kindly go away. I'm reading. That's kind of sassy. <laughs> I like that. So, um, and I do like the, the box it came in so it's nice and protected um, but that's a good class I'm gonna enjoy my beverages in that one so next one and this one I will get back to you on and you'll see why the next one comes on page 141 she's gonna take a bath she gets a few Capfuls of lavender bubble bath into her tub. So I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get some bubbles. Not exactly. So here we go, page 141. It's actually lavender bath bombs. So I'm kind of excited and these look really nice. So it's lavender, but it also has this here. I don't know if it might be like a sage or something. I'm not really sure, but it smells really, really nice and I I'm not one to be bothered by fragrances. I don't care for the smell of lavender. I'll smell it, it's not like it nauseates me or anything, but if there's something that's a lavender scent, I'll pass on it. Or if someone gives me something that's lavender scented, cool with it, I'll use it, but I don't purchase it for myself. But this smells really nice, maybe. Maybe it's not even lavender, maybe it's like a rose. Oh, it's very floral, very nice. So I am gonna take a bath and I'm gonna let you know how these work. Okay, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will do it. So the next one. So here's the thing with this book. You have to read all of this before you get to your next gift. So from 141, to 306 to page 306 that's where the next gift is so you're having to read quite a bit they don't they don't always space it out really well which is fine because I, I really think that if they're looking like how can we optimize the box and give the best gift possible and we're just gonna have to like not make it like even I'm okay with that because you're still experiencing it sometimes you'll get a gift sooner later you might have to wait a while. You might get them within like five pages of each other or 50 or in this case, over 100. But page 306 was the next one. She says a bad word. 
Holy sugar. You didn't. I, un I unwrap a custom made silver bracelet with WWAMWMD printed on it. Now that is in the beginning of the story. Now I can't remember what it stood for. But when you meet um, Shay's best friend, she they say that to each other. And it was, let me find it because... Okay. So what it stood for is, what would a mediocre white man do? That's what it stood for. And it's just like their little inside thing. So um, Amina is her best friend and she gives her a bracelet with their little, you know, W-W-A-M-W-M-D on it. So what do you think this is? It's kind of expected. And it's kind of strange because like, um, there it says that up here and you get the bracelet. But what's kind of neat, so it has it right there. Okay, we can't see it because of all this glare. It's very shiny. You get two. So you can give one to somebody. I don't know who I would give it to because unless they've read the book, that's not really what my friends and I say to each other. So it's kind of strange. It's cute, it's nice, but I, I don't see myself gifting this to anybody. Um, and I feel that if I wear it and people are gonna be like, oh, what does that mean? I'll be like, I can't remember, it's from a book. <laughs> so, so I don't really know that I'm gonna get much use of these, um, but it's neat. It still makes you feel like you're part of the story. So I, I do like it. Um, Maybe I would have preferred nothing on it rather than that on it, but it's cool. And then finally, the final gift. So the final gift comes almost at the very end, see? Yeah, it's just about the end of the book. Page 327. So in this one, it kind of misguided me because Dominic collected Beanie Babies. Like she goes to his like childhood home and to, to his mother's home and sees his bedroom and he had Beanie Babies. It's like, oh yeah, I used to collect these. And so he's talking about his Beanie collection and then right behind the post-it, it says he plugs his headphones back in with one hand still holding onto me with the other. So I see this and I'm like, I got a Beanie Baby. It's gotta be a Beanie Baby. It's actually headphones. So I haven't tried them out yet. Um, let's do that and I'll let you know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try the headphones out. I'm gonna try the little bath bombs out and I'm gonna let you know what I think of these things. So I will be back with that later and I'll let you know. But, so it comes with one of these little guys, I guess, to charge it. Oh, it actually has a paper. Oh, hey, it comes with instructions. You know, the last box that I had, um, it just came in a plastic. It didn't even come in a proper box, but this one actually comes with like the proper box for it. And so it has a good description. This is nice. This is nice and it looks comfortable. So it opens up. And it has buttons on the side here. This is neat. They're wireless. They fit pretty comfortably. The ear part is nice and soft and squishy, kind of like a probably a faux leather. So it's nice. Yeah, they seem very comfortable. I got it. Okay, so I will test these out. I will test these out and I'll let you know what I think 
Okay, so my house is not very big. Uh, my bathroom actually does not have a bathtub, just a shower. So I used my son's bathtub, which is just the generic uh, white porcelain bathtub that you get in an apartment or just the ones you see people washing their kids in. Uh, but that's all you need. I set up a nice little candle. I got my nice glass of water. I had my music going. I threw in one of my uh, bath bombs and it was really nice um, it was just fizzing up really nice uh, the this stuff here last time I was like I wonder what that is maybe it's sage well duh it's lavender so <laughs> it made it kind of look a little dirty because you're like what the heck's all that junk in your bath water but it was still nice it was nice aromatic uh, by the end of my bath I kind of got close to the water to smell it and I really couldn't smell anything anymore so the smell kind of does dissipate. Um, but I felt fancy. I felt good. <laughs> I liked my purple water. I was reading my book and uh, it was just an, a nice relaxing uh, evening. Um, so I like the bath bombs I recommend. Um, I don't have anything really to compare it to now thinking about it because I've never used one before. I've used bath salts, I've used bubbles, but I've never used a bath bomb. Um, another thing actually that I did not notice was that inside of the lid it says Shea's Lavender Bath Bombs, which I thought was cool. And really appreciating the packaging a little bit more because I didn't realize that it was like nested in this uh, crim crimply paper. So anyway, I'm gonna use the, the other one on another day, maybe do a bath a week or something. As for the headphones, um, I used them. Um, they charge quickly, rather quickly. I, I wish I'd have timed it, but I didn't. Um, I just set it to charge, left it alone, did some laundry, da da da, and then when I looked, they were charged. Um, they're okay. It's not something that I'm like, I would have bought, uh, but the sound is okay. Um, the voice that comes on that tells you like if you're connected sounded like a cheap computerized voice but um, but the sound once the music came through it was okay it was like listening through a regular car radio um, they're comfortable um, I don't have headphones like this. The only time I've had headphones like this, I bought these really cute ones that were kind of styled like this. They were from United Colors of Benetton. And I did not like those because they kind of hurt my ears. These didn't hurt my ears and I was like cleaning while I was using them and sweating a little bit and stuff like that. And they did not hurt my ears at all. Um, so I like, I liked it. I just wouldn't buy it for myself and they, do this so if you want to travel with them they're still big and bulky but I like that they close up another thing I noticed though is I think this was a mistake so it says whatever our souls are made of his and mine are the same uh, this is from Wuthering Heights from that classic book Wuthering Heights so I don't know if this was meant to this was like a mistake because I can't imagine getting these with a classic book um it doesn't bother me it's not loud it's not that noticeable but it is noticeable like because i was expecting them a little bit better um uh, again it doesn't bother me but i just something i noticed uh so i don't know if they all came like that or if i was the lucky one that got it <laughs> i don't know but anyway uh so that's that uh thank you for watching uh, thank you for joining me. Please continue to watch my channel. Thank you for the few subscribers I have. I really appreciate your support. And for the rest of you, if you would please consider subscribing. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. And any comments or suggestions and recommendations that you have, please uh, leave me a, a message, a little comment, and uh, I'm going to read everything and take it to heart. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.